guys and welcome back to my channel today i have another amazon must-haves video this one is going to be fashion and makeup slash beauty based now i just recently filmed a travel must-have video that i really enjoyed making and i also enjoy watching these kind of videos of all these different amazon stuff that people like to have in their home or in their beauty stuff clothing wise all of that so i thought i would share some of my favorites so if you guys do like these kind of videos definitely give this one a big thumbs up also if you aren't already subscribed or if you are new to my channel welcome my name is cheyenne i'm known as a lizard bit on hair and i do all type of lifestyle videos even vlogging some travel vlogs so if that's your cup of tea definitely subscribe down below because i would appreciate it a lot so let's jump right into this video so I'm gonna be sharing things that are all like beauty and fashion related. I don't have a ton, but I do have some of my favorites from Amazon that I've been loving over the past year. So I thought I would just share them with you because they are becoming well-loved in my closet as well as in my beauty supply stuff. So let's jump right into it. Starting with this headband and wristband like makeup kit sort of thing i will show you so you're not confused but you might have seen these like all over amazon or even websites like shein and timu but it is just like this headband like this fluffy fleece one and these two wristbands that you wear when you either do your makeup or take your makeup off so you can wear the headband to put your makeup on and also to wash your face and the wristbands are so when you are washing your face the water doesn't drip down your wrist which is great because i know we all hate that feeling of water dripping down into our clothes or our pajamas whatever we're wearing so these come in really handy they have a ton of different styles and colors that you can choose from on amazon it has become a staple in my nighttime and morning time routine so i definitely recommend it if you've been on the hunt for something like this next is this wax kit that i've used once if you guys saw my prep with me for my vacation video i did use this and as it was my first time using it i realized that it made such a difference when it came to hair removal now i used to do laser hair removal but then i just stopped because i just had a group on for it and i never went back i did love that a lot but with waxing i've tried using this and i can say that i really love it so this is just the one that i have it's like this like pink like container i guess you can call it and it just has a cap mine is a little like sticky i think something spilled on it but you take the cap off and then you can refill it with the wax that you had the refillable wax and on the side it says like full or empty so you'll see the wax going down the more you use it and then you also use a little plug that you could plug it in to heat the wax up and this one actually came with some of the waxing strips which is awesome it was a lot more than this but obviously in that video I used a lot of them and then also I think it came with two refillable like wax kits or refills I guess and this one is in the scent rose so it just looks like this and you just take this cap off you peel off that sticker and then you just start heating it up in that dispenser and then you're ready to go so I really like this of course it takes some trial and error to get used to if you've never done before but once you get the hang of it it's really easy they have a ton of different brands on there this one I think is the wax fans I'm not sure I'll put it on the screen for all these items that I'll be using but this one actually has olive oil jojoba oil sea mud extract vitamin e and wheat germ oil so that is really good for your skin and this is a really great size i feel like the other one still has like half left so this can go multiple uses over time and because you're waxing your hair doesn't grow back as fast so these will last you a really long time so definitely recommend that next is an item for all my sweaty sweaty girls now i'm someone that sweats like crazy whether it is the winter or the height of the summer so this has really been helping me especially like with my back sweat yes i have a lot of back sweat and this is the certain dry prescription shrimp clinical antiperspirant roll-on and this just looks like that and basically it is just like it looks like a roll-on deodorant basically but the thing with this is you're only supposed to use it like probably once i don't know how often i think like 
once a week or so. I don't like to use it every single day, but what I do is I actually roll this on, like after I take my shower at night, I roll this all over my back, under my arms, and anywhere else that might be really sweaty for me, like the next day. And basically it just helps you stay really dry for the entire day the next day. Like I limited a lot of sweat. It basically just like blocks your sweat pores, which once again, isn't the safest thing. Of course, you need your body to sweat and release some of that moisture. But for days that you know, like you're wearing a nice outfit or something that you're gonna show a lot of sweat through, this is really great. I stand by it. It has really helped me a lot on that end. Of course, like you can go get like Botox or certain treatments that can help you if you have like, I think it's called something hydrosis or whatever. I probably had that, but for a temporary use, this has been helping me quite a lot. So definitely recommend this if you are prone to excessive sweating like I am. Lately, I've been dealing with a lot of like scalp issues. I've been having like a really dry scalp and like some dandruff kind of in there. So I've been trying to take care of it by like detoxing my hair. But this tool I've actually been using when I'm in the shower and I feel like it helps to really like just break up all that grime and stuff that could be contributing to my dry scalp and just having a lot of dandruff. So this is the Con Air Scalp Massager and it just has like a bunch of these prongs. I know it looks scary, but trust me, they're just like little rubber prongs right there. It has this little handle and you can hang it like on your shower and you basically just go in and just massage your head with this. And I feel like it has been helping a lot to relieve all of that like dandruff and stuff like once I start styling my hair after I come out the shower from using this it really helps to make my scalp feel really clean and not full of all that gunk so definitely recommend this if you are dealing with any scalp issues it really helps to break up any grime and stuff to get off your scalp so you have nice and fresh clean hair and not dealing with all those flakes and stuff definitely recommend this. Next is a flat iron I have been using for about six months now and this is the Vanessa Pro. I think it's a titanium flat iron and it just looks like this. It's like the plates right here and I like that it has like this beveled side so if you want to do any curls you can do that. I believe this goes up to 450 or 475 so it gets really hot and because it is titanium it works like really well with your hair. Um, I usually put this like on 400 and I do one pass and it stays pretty straight with my hair. Of course, I would love a Babyliss Pro, but for now this one works really well. It's very inexpensive. I think they might have different sizes, but I believe this is the one inch one. So I definitely recommend this. And it also has like this curved shape, if you can see, and it also auto shuts off, which is my number one thing, because of course, when you're leaving the house, you wanna make sure you don't have any of these hot tools plugged in still. So that's great in case you forget, you know that at least it can turn off by itself. So highly recommend this. Next, if you've seen my recent videos, or you could tell right here, I did get my hair cut recently and because I have a lot of layers, I've been trying to figure out how to style them and one way that I've been loving is using rollers. So these rollers are called the Diane 12 pack 2 inch magnetic roller for smooth volume curls and it's vented for faster drying. You do need to use pins with them which I don't mind so they're not like the velcro ones but they just look like this. Like I said, it comes with 12, which is just enough for me because I leave the bottom layer out and I just blow dry that and like kind of curl the ends. And then for these top layers, I usually go in with the rollers and I sleep in them overnight and they work really well. So they're like your old school rollers, basically like what my mom used to use. And I got the two inch, so they're not too tight of a curl because I don't want it too like tight ringlets. I just want like nice soft waves. So definitely recommend these. It's been working really well for me. I like them better than the Velcro ones. I feel like sometimes the Velcro ones will pull your hair too much and make it look kind of poofy and frizzy, especially for my texture, which is naturally curly. So I like these smooth ones a little bit better. Next is a love of mine. I've been using this for about over a year now, and it is actually a nail kit from Jelen. That is the brand on Amazon. It looks just like this, but I do have a couple items to share. I don't have the full kit because I've been using this nonstop, but these are like the acrylic nails that it comes with. I usually get like the stiletto shape, so they're really pointy. It also comes with a little like individual 
lamp that you can use for the UV light, which I really love because it's very like precise. Like you get each individual finger, which is great. And then the kit it also comes with like the extend gel, which is what you use to apply it and the top coat as well as the bonding solution and the dehydrator plus filing comes with a lot of stuff and it's really inexpensive i think it's like under 30 dollars every time i bought it and they have different styles of tips that you can get i even got a pack that had the tip clipper which was really awesome so you know i've been loving doing my gel x nails haven't been doing them recently just because it is a little bit time consuming, but it has saved me so much money than going to the salon and spending like almost a hundred dollars now to get my nails done every two weeks where I can just do it in the comfort of my home for under 30 bucks at a time. So I definitely recommend that. Of course, you can teach yourself by watching YouTube or TikTok. That's how I learned how to do my nails. I'm still not a perfectionist, but it does the job of what I need it to do. I also just like painting different designs on my nails exactly how I want it so I definitely recommend that if you are someone that doesn't mind doing it yourself definitely pick up one of those kits because it is worth all the money next I've actually shared this in like a previous vlog and they are just these butterfly clips but the thing with these is that they are pretty giant so they look just like this of course I will leave the brand down below or on the screen and they came with a pack of four but i just love how wide this opens and how long they are it basically is like almost the size of the back of my head which is great because once my hair does grow a little bit more i do have long hair and thick hair so this really grabs all of that hair together and keeps it in there really tight and i want to put my hair up in a nice little do so I really like these ones. I'm not really a fan of like the short ones anymore. I know they also have like short wide ones if you do have short hair but thick hair which will really work well but I've just been loving these. It came in two other colors like a green and a brown color and then these two and they're kind of like a marble like I don't know what that would be called but that little like acrylic sort of looking material but I really love these. I wear them all the time especially around the house when I'm cleaning up and stuff. So definitely recommend these if you're a claw clip girly like me. The so next are just these two like, I guess powder puffs you would call them. And this is from the brand Blah Room, I believe. Of course they have a million different brands on Amazon. But as you can see, they're not your normal like circle powder puff. They're like this angle, um, like a triangle basically. So I like this a lot because when I put my powder on, I just dab it onto the back of my hand and it fits perfectly under the eye in that corner. Because of the angle of it, it angles with your nose to your eye and it fits perfectly in there instead of the big round one getting everywhere. Just if you wanna be really precise with your makeup, these are great. I highly recommend them. This came in a pack of six. I think it came with three blacks and three whites. So I highly recommend these. I've been using them when I travel and I use them every single time I wear my makeup and it's just a better angle than using the big round ones. So definitely look out for these if you have been on the hunt for something like this with your makeup routine. Now we are coming into the final stretch. So I just have two fashion items to share with you. The first one is this beautiful leather, I think it's pleather, <laughs> bucket bag. And I believe this is from the brand Killamall. I don't know, I'm just reading it off the bag. But it is just this like really nice bucket bag with like the little drawstring there. And it's like a medium size, I'll say. So I can wear this to work or I can wear this to like just go out and stuff. And it fills up a lot. Like I have a ton of stuff in here already and it can fill up even more. It also comes with this adjustable strap and I have been loving this i got it about like three months ago and it just looks so like high-end like it doesn't look like it's from amazon i think i paid like 30 bucks which isn't too bad they had a ton of different other colors i kind of want to get like a cream one for the summertime but i have been loving this i love bucket bags just because you can fit so much inside it doesn't have any pockets but i'm okay with that i usually keep my stuff organized in like little pouches but i just love the like slouchy look of this it's really like i don't know it's like very grungy. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I definitely recommend it if you are a bucket bag lover like me or just want like a quick casual bag to take on the go, whether it's to work or to go out. And last but not least, I am missing the other foot of these because it's somewhere buried in my closet, but I don't have to bring them out till 
the fall and winter, which is kind of where that I'm showing you in summer, but, but basically they are just these ankle booties. As you can see, it has a lot of creasing because I have worn them a lot this past winter and fall. And I believe the heel is like a two inch, or like a one and a half inch. So it's a really nice, comfortable heel. And this one is actually a squared toe. And I got these in a size seven. It fits really true to size. I love them a lot. I've been wearing them a lot in the fall and winter, like I said. The brand isn't on here, but I'll link it down below, of course, everything you'll find down below. And it just has like the zipper closure and I just love the silhouette of it. It really like elongates my foot in a good way and also matches that bucket bag perfectly. So I've been wearing those two together when it was the fall time and I just really like this. I thought I wouldn't be like a square toe kind of girl and I guess I am now. And I like how this one is like a short square toe. It's like a little bit longer. So that makes it look a little bit more high end. So yeah, I love this a lot. So guys, that is all of my Amazon fashion and beauty must-haves. Those are some items that I have been loving. Of course, I will do another one in the upcoming future once I have some more fashion items and some more beauty items that I've been loving. So stay tuned for those. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.